you are listening to the <laughs> yep, and uh, yeah. you are still on cloud nine. You have oh, to come yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I got my daughter married this week. <laughs> yeah. So today, that is what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about weddings and yeah. um, lessons to be learned, things that we love, things that we did not like, things that we want to take, things that we want to um, not take with us. Right. Um, so first, tell me about the wedding. So... Um, there was some really nice stuff about it and really weird stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The first weird thing that was, um, let's say Shabbos, right before the wedding, mm -hmm. uh, my girls went to be with the Kala. Mm -hmm. uh, so Sunday morning, I'm left with all the men in the family. <laughs> <laughs> all my boys. my boys. And it was so weird for me. Like, I didn't have this feminine energy mm. in the house. No makeup. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And um, I went uh, to have uh, a facial. Good for and you. Nails and then the makeup. And what was really awesome is my best friend, Javi, she came over and we drove together, just me and her in, in my car, because we had to bring two cars to the wedding. Mm, okay. So, uh, so it was great. So nice. we like, I got a lot of feminine energy. Oh, on the way to the and you look spectacular. Put, you look absolutely you. amazing. You put, put on some really nice music oh, on the way. Oh. Just, it, it was awesome. And then we decorated the Kala chair where she sat. Oh. And that was brilliant because it was very easy. Okay. I brought bought these. Oh, I have them over here. <laughs> I bought these uh, artificial. They're actually like crowns. Happy birth for birthday. Oh, fun. Okay. And we just wrapped them around, and we put it a little beautiful. fresh uh, uh, flowers. Also, right. and it, looks, it, it, it was stunning. It was like a little hookah where she could just sit there. And, yeah. You know, and the pictures were great and beautiful yeah. so, um, so i had like time for my creativity oh beautiful and that beautiful. was really important for me because it, it like connected me mm. and um i really loved the time really before the chuppah when there were really nice songs everything was too loud I should have said something at the beginning. <laughs> okay, so when we get to the points of that, what we're going to yeah. take with us in lessons but to be it learned. Was, it was very exciting. It was very exciting. It was a time sure. of prayer. Oh. And, and blessing. And I blessed my daughter. Because uh, I, uh, I didn't see that. You, yeah, you I, I did it before. Oh, okay. And then the video clip that I sent there, you see, it was Boaz. Boaz. Yeah. Said, yeah. It was so come, 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 bless her. It was so beautiful. Yeah. I was like, oh, you know, like you're, did you have a feeling like, you know, my, my, my little, my little chick is flying and fleeing the no, nest? No, not at all. Because she's very mature. Okay. She's 27 after all, you know, she's not a little girl. But she's still your little but, girl. Yeah, but I know, I felt like. Ready. It, it was right. Oh, It nice. was right. And, um. It was a very emotional time because mm. also she blessed her sisters. Oh, and, <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, and they're also close. So all, all four of them are very close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And oh, so special. In the chopa, I thought I thought it was like karma because in my chopa, my brother kept pulling my um, veil in the uh. back all the time, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Why did I choose this long veil? So at the Achopa, once uh, Inon blessed on the talis, so he put it like over their shoulders and it kept mm. slipping, slipping off her shoulders. So I was the one holding it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, the there was a picture I told you that you posted or when your kids posted, all of your family was just in a half a circle. And to yeah. me, that was just like, I, I wasn't at the wedding. And, but that to me, it was just such a beautiful picture. Yeah. But I want you to share with us a moment that it was like, ah, oh, like nachat, like I, f I, f I feel fulfilled. I feel, wow. 
Was there a moment? There, I'm sure there were lots. Um, look, I was just happy all the time, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I think I, I mostly enjoyed the dance that we made for her. Oh, yeah. It was so it was so much fun to dance together as a family, even though one of the members of the family did not participate in the dance. But that was very that was very fun, and also Special. the same member who did not participate in that dance. Uh, I saw him dancing later on, oh. and that was really exciting for me because like he took part Man. and. Uh, it's a, it was a very special moment. Oh, um, and um, just, uh, it was, you know, being with the family was basically, basically family. We did have a lot of friends coming around because we wanted to have it still small. But it, it was awesome. It was awesome. That's so beautiful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. A lot of times you hear people like... Or, or you see people at their own weddings that, you know, they don't have the time and they're angry and they're anxious and they're, you know, and, and it's so beautiful that you were able to just be and yeah. live. That was like moment. a decision also. But I, You're saying that was a conscious decision. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I knew I wanted to be there. Okay. I knew I wanted to be happy. And and I tried very hard that to let not anything <laughs> harm that, that oh, decision. Beautiful. But that the, that's such an amazing decision. Yeah, the DJ was too loud. Okay, so you want to talk about yeah, lessons yeah, for the, lessons for the what future. you're taking. You know, you have so, other children to marry. So they so. talked to him. They asked him to keep it low and to not, uh, you know, hurt our ears. But he totally did not uh, comply with that. Mm. And my lesson is next time I'm going to put a very nice amount on the side for the DJ. And tell him this is your bonus. Yeah. <laughs> if you keep the music nice. Right. I mean, decibel wise. Because I was with, with earplugs and I had to go out of the out of the main dancing arena many times because it, it was just it was too much for me. And like every time somebody was leaving, <laughs> I would escort them. <laughs> I said, okay, no, I'm just my mom. I'm just <laughs> not just not to do music. It's interesting yeah. that, that, like, I don't remember our music being that loud. Like, it not at all. For sure, it was not that loud. loud. Mm -hmm. And it, I, it's something that I keep hearing, you know, that yeah. the music is, is, is offensive. Not... It's offensive. You know, my, the, the father of uh, the groom. Mm. told me he had the next day he had headaches <gasps> for the whole day and it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't no be like that. no music should, should be enjoyable we, yeah i mean be. i like loud music mm -hmm. i don't like too loud music but no no yeah. but when it hurts your ears <laughs> yeah. and i've become i guess this is part of like growing older but i've become very sensitive to it yeah and it, it hurts my ears like i yeah the, also the migraines and I, I still ears. feel it the ringing. I still feel mm. it like it's not ringing but it's still like uh amazing how they're not deaf <laughs> <laughs> um okay so I want you to share with me other lessons yeah um, another one is that you should like you have takeaways. a good friend okay who has an iPhone mm -hmm. uh, or somebody from the family that's not too related like like one of my brothers or sisters okay. and ask them to take uh pictures because it's gonna take a while till we get the like nice decent right. pictures and a lot of moments sort of like got lost mm. and um so we should you should have appoint your own iphone photographer <laughs> do you remember like this was like a trend um it, when there were disposable cameras do you remember that yeah there would be like bar mitzvahs or weddings and each table would get a disposable camera oh. and then you would develop the pictures and send them oh, to nice. the people nice. um and you know because like you said it's going to take a while until yeah. you get the pictures yeah um so i'm starting to think like maybe like we all have such great cameras on our phones you know Some like of us. So, i mean <laughs> even even like the lousy. yeah cameras. But, but yeah even my camera we took a picture of boaz and i before the everything started they gave us like in a little room they gave us something to eat before the wedding mm. and i said boss come come let's take a picture <laughs> and we had somebody take a picture of both of us and i think yeah, that's the only um, picture i have oh. right now of both of us because right. it wasn't time right. later on right. so much 
but you should have somebody with a good camera taking pictures. Right. And also you should have a gopher. <laughs> <laughs> Which is somebody who knows the family and not necessarily a person from the family because like when they take photographs of the family, so they have to be in the picture, but somebody you can, you appoint and you tell them you're my gopher and you don't move from where the bride is, where it's there, you know, because that's what happened to me. I went to search for some people, and in the meantime, my whole family did a family picture, and oh, I'm not in it. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh. Uh, next wedding, there'll be a gopher, <laughs> somebody who goes to find the people who are not in the picture, who goes to see what's with the rob, or whatever, everything right. that we need to be done, somebody else should do, right? And people who tend to be really excited and not eat it, because they're excited and they're in, uh, in, the, in the moment or whatever, not me. Turns out I ate really good, but, <laughs> <laughs> but people who tend to that, okay. you know yourself, like my husband, you have to have somebody in charge of feeding them, mm. <laughs> you know, make sure make there's sure some food eating. in the system. Right. So yeah, it turns out I definitely ate. I had a great time. <laughs> And I schmoozed with some people at the wedding when I could. I mean, most of the time the music was too loud, but uh, yeah, and it was so late the end of the wedding. We How late did you go? In song. Uh, about like one, one o'clock, one fifteen in the morning. Wow. And just, you know, it's all the excitement and dancing and you have all this energy and then it just down. <laughs> I was the Sheva Brachas like uh, they wanted to do the Sheva Brachas at the end of the end so we couldn't go wow. to see people uh, <laughs> so. I think I think Yimima Mizrahi said and, and, and it's so true um, I, I, I used to listen to her but now I don't but she said something very true she said you know Hashem gives you the quote that you need for the time that you need it mm -hmm. and then when the event is gone, Hashem just takes away the cold that he gives you. And, and then you're like, oh. Yeah, that, that, that was like our situation, I think. Um, but all in all, everything was very nice. And Yay. I think it's really important to appreciate and Beautiful. to appreciate all the people who worked hard to, for that to happen. And um, what can I say? Thank Beautiful. you, Hashem. The gamma. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and it shouldn't stop. Like with Leah, she said, Thank you, Hashem, and I want more. Right, right. So I'm blessing you yeah. that you should open the doors and all your children of marriageable age should get married. Amen. Amen. So now tell me about your experience. <laughs> You married three girls yeah, off already. Yeah. But it was different because it was Corona. So like it was so like the world was ending. Like <laughs> like <laughs> With Tamarty Period, it was it was really like the beginning of the wedding of, of Corona. Mm -hmm. We didn't know until that day if we're having a wedding or not, because uh, Yuvali was in Bidud, he was in quarantine, and he had symptoms, was just starting, you know, like no, no, no taste and no smell. And he was he just said it randomly. And then his mother's like, Oh my god, this is a symptom. Get <laughs> and it wasn't like you got results that day. You have to wait like two or three days. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know we were having a wedding until 8 30. Wow. Um that day. And it was, you know, we went from having a list of, I don't know, 200 people that we have to, have to, have to, have to invite. <laughs> and we're like, okay, how are we gonna pay for this? And then slowly, slowly it went from 200 and we started cutting like this was before Corona. We started cutting. We're like, okay, we have 150. Da, da, da. And we cut, 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 cut. And then we went from having a wedding from 200, and then it was like uh, um, limits. You know, you can only have 100 people. 100 people. Fine. Cut, 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 cut. And 50. And we made a wedding with 10 people. So it was, it was like we sat in one room, and the Khatan and his family sat in another room because you couldn't have more than 10 people. Um, the cops came twice. Uh, it was not like a surreal, you know, yeah. like if you look back on it now, like the panic 
and the this like we were all scared, you know, like we we traveled with the invitation so that if cops, you know, stop us on the highway, you know, well, this is our kids' wedding, you know, like we're we're, we're legitimately traveling. Um and the cops came and and like we were done by 8 30 because wow. we wanted their friends to come. So we left so that 10 more people could come. That was too much to bear. We had no Shabbat Kala, no Shabbat Sheva Baho, no nothing, nothing. We were all in quarantine. Um, and it took me a long time to recover from that. Like uh-huh. that was it, was, it was a trauma. Like, yes, everybody says to me, oh, wow, you made a wedding, like cheap, right? <laughs> but it, it, there was nobody there, yeah. you know, nobody was there. Um, so that was, that was very interesting. With Ruhama, so we were already like, you know, capsules, you know, like capsules. And again, you could only have a certain amount of people. And again, there was the threat of cops and, and whatever. Um, what I did learn from, from that wedding was if I am paying good money for a man and for a photographer, and, and it better well be the way I want it to be. Like we, we had this whole fight with one of them about the photographer. It has to be this type of photographer. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. And um, I, I mean, the pictures were great, but they could have used more imagination and more ingenuity. You know, like you had, we are in capsules. And so the wedding was at the bottom and everybody was on a mirpesa, right? So you, you go up. So we're, t- we're paying for two photographers, you know, a man mm-hmm. and a woman. So the woman could have gone up to the mere peasant and got pictures from down below. Mm-hmm. It's not my job right. to teach you how to do your job. You know, like <laughs> I don't have to, you know, and, and Diggy, um, when she made a, a wedding, I think she gave me a great tip that make a list of all the pictures that you want. Yeah. Mother, father, mother, no, no, no grandparents, cousins, anybody you want in a picture, yeah. make a list oh, wow. and make sure that the wow. photographer knows about it. That's really important because we totally like it, like the buzz aside. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I saw the picture of you guys all with your family and I'm like, wow, I'm wondering if they did the same thing with Buzz's family. Yeah. Oh, oh, I totally forgot to tell them to come for pictures earlier. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I know, I was a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think about it. It didn't cross my mind. Right. But I guess that's where, what you're saying. Like, and, then, and then his parents, they showed up uh, much later, like just for the chuppah. So we had to find time like in between everything to, to take pictures with them. And so Zemayesh. Did what to do? Yeah. <laughs> deal, people. <laughs> yeah, deal. <laughs> Um, so with, with Tee Lai's wedding already, I was, I was like a flipping dictator. <laughs> <laughs> I went to like the photographer and I don't care, you know, like it's going to be good pictures because it's a professional photographer right. and it's an right. amazing event. So like do what you're supposed to do. But I was like, no, you have to get me and my siblings. You have to get Yaakov and his siblings. You have to get my mother. You have to get his mother. No, 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 no. I was like a flipping dictator. I'm like, I want these pictures and I want to make sure that they, <laughs> and because like, you, like I was chasing the photographer, one of the weddings I was chasing the photographer to take a picture of me and my siblings, you know? And, and like, if I'd had a list, right. he would have known, okay. Now, that, that, right, like, right. Just go down right. the Something list. very nice that I saw at my friend's wedding, and mm-hmm. I really wanted them to bring to their wedding. Uh, it's like a photo booth. And mm-hmm. it stands nice. still. Nice. <laughs> and you take your own pictures. Nice. And like throughout the three hours or whatever of the wedding, people just stood and took pictures and also you could send it to your smartphone Beautiful. and it got collected i think at the end of the wedding and, and sent to the or whatever the families mm-hmm. so that's so nice it's just nice. one station mm-hmm. and people come up and take pictures wow beautiful and uh yeah next time i'm gonna be more um how do you say Admin? Ad- assertive? Assertive, yeah, more assertive, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think a, a lot of things I just didn't want to fight about. Mm. 
and in retrospect um being more assertive i think it's it's right you have to you know say the things that are important to you okay i think one of the best tips that i got for a wedding was the first wedding um to my parents and again like we got off cheap i'm not denying it but um they both said to us Uvali's parents both said to us you do not have to go into debt and you do not have to be financially stressed to make a wedding and i'm like <laughs> right <laughs> that's funny but but they said you know like whatever you can do is what you can do right and don't you don't have to make the show and, and i think that was just a very clarifying point to me because mm -hmm. sometimes we get caught up in the show yeah and that's and right. and it has to be like you know we have to impress people and we have to do and 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 everything you know and and everything costs and it's like oh if i spent this amount of money then it must be good but um and and i think it was a very like pinpointing lesson that you know you don't have to go into major debt right, right. to do this right i want to ask you <laughs> um what's the most important thing as uh, a mother of the kala, a mother of the bride. If you like, cause I found, found myself asking advice from my friends who married off their children. Okay. I, I felt like I was entering this new club mm, that, yes. <laughs> that I, I really didn't know anything about until she got engaged. So what, what would you say is like the most important thing because you have married kids, you have grandchildren now. So what's the most um, important thing you would say to a mother of a bride? Um, take it all in stride. Wow. Um, be there for your kid. Your kid is also- Say it louder, sir. Your kid is also going into <laughs> uncharted territory and they're also scared. <laughs> um, and, and there's so many things that are just not worth fighting. Wow. Fighting about. Wow. Um, I think to my spirit, I got off easy because she wasn't at home. And yeah. as it was, we fought so much. And wow. I, a lot of it was, you know, you know, she's trying to go and start her life and be independent. And yet she's still my little girl. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of it was, she's also became Chabad. So she, you know, has to do things Chabad, which to me made no sense. And I, I regret fighting with her and I regret, um, I, I, I fought with her so much and then we were all in quarantine and I couldn't see her and I felt like my arm had been cut off. And so what I would say is just take everything in stride. Um, if your daughter is going to become bridezilla, as well as like Godzilla, <laughs> yeah. um, you're going to be like mamazilla. <laughs> Yeah, there's this time when they you can't talk to them. No, 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 no. You can't ask them any questions. No, nope. can't do anything. No, nope. and you know nothing. And of course, of course, yeah, you know absolutely <laughs> nothing, nothing. <laughs> but then there comes that time when they realize that they need you. Yeah, it yeah. comes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like with Tamar's spirit, like that first Shabbat that came back to us, you know, after quarantine and after whatever. And I, I was just like, Hashem, please let this be good because I'd fought with her and we'd clashed on so many. And all of a sudden it's like a different, she's still my baby, I still love her. She's still my little girl. She's the mother by herself by now, right now. And all of a sudden it was just like, I can talk to her on equal footing. Wow. That's beautiful. Is that the time which should come back to you? Yeah. And uh, yeah. we look forward to welcoming to the next club. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we're out of time, right? Yeah. Is there anything yeah. else? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> By so, winter. So we're coming to an end. We are. We are. It's and, very uh, illuminating. Very illuminating. It's this talk has been very illuminating. Like when we were, I was a kid, do you remember Princess Diana's wedding? Princess Diana's yeah. Wedding? It was like this big fairy tale thing. And and, and I, I remember thinking that's what it's going to be, you know? <laughs> and oh, so different. <laughs> and yeah, 
yeah, yeah. And and you don't need all the glitter and the glam. Um, I think that was something that I learned. Like, I, I, I'm going to say in Hebrew, but like, you know, um, we, no, I'll say in English. We, we got to a point where we we're just, it was like an onion. And, you know, you peel and you peel and you peel and you peel and you peel all these layers of onion and you're left with a little tiny thing and the little tiny thing, that's, that's the important thing. That's the essence. Yeah. 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 I think the, the essence of, of a marriage is the happiness that they found each other, that they decided to build a life together. Beautiful. And really when you, you look at all of the stuff around, it's just celebrating that. Oh, That's the essence. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Love so that. you want to do a quirky quote uh, for mm. about weddings Ooh, or something? A quirky quote about wedding. <laughs> I didn't prepare one. I didn't prepare, I didn't one. prepare one, but um, give us a tip of Mabsuta. Okay, so and then I'll, while you're while you're doing that, I'll think about it. Um, so the decision to be happy mm. is is a decision you can make. I love that. That regardless of circumstances, mm. you decide to be happy. So like the holiday, we're giving us grief before the wedding. And the guy there, the organizer says, you know, you want to be happy at the wedding. You don't want to bring this lousy attitude <laughs> that you're, you know, I was criticizing all kinds of decisions made by the hall. Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, the fact that I want things to be done a certain way mm -hmm. will not prevent me from, from being really extra happy at the wedding, even if they're not done the way that I want them to be done. Beautiful. And because Beautiful. I know how to be happy. And to be happy is a decision. A decision. I'm going to be happy at this wedding, you know? And no matter what, no matter Beautiful. how many, how much Murphy is going to try, and he always, you know, has his share in every wedding. And, <laughs> but, you know, it's a decision. It's a decision to accept beautiful the whatever's there beautiful i love that <laughs> i you. love that i love that and i think what i would say not a quirky quote but an inspirational thought would just be that the essence um find out what the essence is and work with that and never let that go wow that would just That's be my beautiful my thing. yeah so we are at the end of our, um, of our schmooze about weddings. Yeah. Um, this is really great. I, yeah. I, I feel like I was able to participate in your sympathy. So thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and I miss being there. But we will share more sympathy together. Amen. Well. Amen. And um, let us know about what you guys think about the essence of weddings. What do you think? Share with us your um, wedding ideas, wedding tips. We still have more children there. We need to get married, <laughs> yeah. and we would love to hear from you. Yeah. So let us know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. See you next week on the schmooze. On the schmooze. Bye. Bye. <laughs>